what's up guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much guys for clicking on this video if you are new here you're welcome please grab a popcorn a juice have a seat and let us discuss because today we are going to be talking about something very important we're going to be talking about investments making a big investment in the united kingdom and this is important especially if you are an immigrant in the united kingdom i've had the question in my head somewhere you know about whether buying a new build generally in the uk is better or buying an old house is better i know i've made a lot of videos about new builds in the united kingdom and i might be kind of partial because i actually enjoyed going for viewing i enjoy it so so much i've seen a lot of lovely new builds around me and you might even be wondering can you actually buy a house in the uk as an immigrant honestly when i first came into the uk i never thought it was possible so knowledge is key like it is key i never thought i was thinking oh maybe when i get my high lr i won't be able to do such a thing until i actually get my high lr or get a stay or you know something like that before i can actually make such a huge investment in the uk but alas I've got my friends doing this. I've got a lot of people. I mean, if you go on YouTube, you see a lot of immigrants buying houses in the United Kingdom. So now this brings us to the video of today, which is, do you buy a new house or an old house? What are the pros? What are the cons? I don't have all the answers and I am seeking for answers myself. In one of the videos that I've done earlier about new builds in the UK, I've got a lot of messages, you know, about why you should not buy new builds and things like that. But then this particular message stuck. And then I was actually reconsidering among many other factors, whether or not to go for a new build or an old build. So if you are yet to buy your house in the UK or you have plans to actually buy your own house in the United Kingdom, please let us know in the comment section which would you prefer and why i'll be going through the comments and i really hope to learn from you guys so let's start with the new build when you're buying a new build it comes with a special kind of feeling you know you're buying something new now and not just anything it's not shoes it's not dress it's actually a house like a whole house you're buying a new house it comes with some rush of adrenaline that gives you like joy you are happy you know that you're buying a brand new house a house that has never been lived in before i mean you can smell the new carpet the new paint you know the new grass and everything is just new and everything is just like it's giving you a kind of like a fresh beginning in your life or something like that and i know that that feeling is good i mean you are at liberty to actually choose your interior you want to choose what your carpets would be like what your tiles would be like you can even choose your kitchen interiors before it is built as if the house is not already built like you have a lot of options when you're actually buying a new build and you live in a nice estate with others who are probably doing similar things like yourself sometimes you have neighbors who are just growing their own family to newly wedded couple young professional and i want to believe that it is such a pure joy to see your community grow it's like all of you are actually moving into this new community and you are kind of building the community together however there are some not so good sides about having a new build i mean i've seen a lot of videos about People complaining about snags in their houses, house defects, cheap materials being used by the builders, cracks in the wall, among many other things. Although, you usually get a warranty to fix them for free by the builder. But you really need to keep an eye out for them so that you'll be able to complain at the right time so that they can fix it at the right time. Because I know that this warranty have time limits and if you don't complain at the right time, you lose out also similar properties in that area that are older are usually less expensive now for an old build you can actually buy it for cheaper and use the savings to refurbish the house of course it's an old build so there will definitely be some things in fact many things that you will have to refurbish and replace in the house i even learned buying old build is a great way to get yourself up the property ladder so this is done by buying an old build somewhere doing it up living in it for some while and then 
moving on that is how some people work their way up to be able to live in million pounds houses however as the name implies it's an old build of course there might be structural defects and a lot of things that need refurbishing changing or completely replacing now a lot of people enjoy doing this as in they buy and hold house and then they make it a project for themselves for example i buy an old house now and i make it a project for myself to refurbish everything replace the replaceables and just make that house mine it might take a long time before the house comes out as what i have in mind and from what i have seen it can take months to actually get what you want how you want your house to look like especially if it is a really really old build however there are some people like us that we do not like that kind of stress if you are with me please raise your hand in the comment section <laughs> we do not like that kind of stress. like i can't imagine like buying a house uh, i don't know never say never let me not say never but honestly i will buy a house i'll now start before bishing uh, even if i will buy an old house it has to be good to some extent like good and on point such that the refurbishments and the replacements and the things that will be doing on it will be small small things not that it will be taking me months and months to do before i can actually get what i want in a house well that is my own submission please let me know yours in the comment section so what are your thoughts regarding buying a new house versus buying an old house which would you rather go for please let me know don't be like oh i don't have the money to even buy anything now so just tell us tell i know that you know we don't have the money yet we are just discussing we are just talking we are just like deliberating you don't know which angel is passing by by the time you type it in the comment section you just see that the fund to buy that house you just start coming in left right and center so take a step of faith and let me know in the comment section which would you rather buy in the united kingdom an old build or a new build do let me also know in the comment section what other pros and cons do you think are there for new builds and for old builds we are all learning so please don't keep that wealth of knowledge to yourself put it in the comment section and let's learn from now you. as you already know that the help to buy scheme for first-time buyers in the united kingdom has come to an end the question on the lips of many is okay so what next how are people like us who are working with the nhs who are not collecting them <laughs> how are we going to buy our house like what are the other available schemes that we can take advantage of this is what my next video will be all about so make sure that you subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on that video thank you so much guys for watching and before i drop that video you can entertain yourself with this new build house tours videos that are on your screen and i'll see you there